Hello, I'm Green. And I'm Purple. Welcome back to Green and Purple. We're back playing a Jack and Dexter today. Oh, I knew that. That was a trap. Oh, God. <laughs> He's gonna drill you. Girl man. I'm pretty sure that's one of the, the Mega Man bosses. I won't be so... Let, let me look up. Let me look it up. After a while, they just ran out of it. Oh, like, yeah. This is... This is a closet man. It's gonna lock you inside him. Oh, the dirty it? laundry. It's drill man. Yep. I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> I swear I didn't like look up before. I was like, I know I'm gonna do drill. Like it just sounded like it was a Mega Man one. Didn't the newest Mega Man have? He a... was in a uh, um, Mega Man Four. Okay. Four is when they started running out of ideas. <laughs> thing is is like Mega Man like one through like five mm -hmm. are all pretty much they play pretty much the same like there's minor upgrades here and there but pretty close to being the same but then once they move to like the Super Nintendo it's like the graphics got better but the story still didn't change all that much oh no my precursor oh <laughs> it, like Mega Man never really changed much until they got to the like the Mega Man X games. Wait, what did you say? Mega Man. Oh, okay. Like the, the gameplay was like more or less really similar from yeah. game to game until they moved to the Mega Man X games. Not the Mega Man X game, like right. right. <laughs> Got it. I mean, of course, this is all from an outsider's perspective. I've never been the biggest fan of the Mega Man games. I don't hate them or anything. They're just not my my style, I guess. Not my cheese. Not my bread and butter. Oh, God. Did you see it? <laughs> <laughs> His arms were, like, freaking out. Okay, we're back up here. You, you ever played a Mega Man game all the way through, Kayla? Uh, no. No. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I remember in Mega Man... I've always wanted to play um, Mega Man Legends, though. That's the 3D one, isn't it? Mm -hmm. It was on, like, the PS1. Yeah. I think my cousin had that game. He was like, oh, you want to play Mega Man Legends? I was like, I hate Mega Man. He's <laughs> like, screw you. <laughs> <laughs> I get the feeling that's not the way you're supposed to go to that area. Maybe it's that rising platform that's going in and out of it constantly. Turn around, dude, and this guy, walk away. This guy is stupid. Yeah, you just wait until they walk. Or they turn around and you hit them. But then again, that's like the majority of platforming enemies. It's just like you wait until they stop doing the dangerous thing and then you hit them. <laughs> <laughs> or if it's Mario, you just jump on them. And then you, well, you jump on them if they're not doing the dangerous thing. Like, <laughs> like, boom, boom. This is true. I need that. I want that. Oh, 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 that was bad. That was almost bad. Why would they just have those, like, on the walkway? Because, Caleb, Johnny dropped them. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Johnny. Johnny. <laughs> Everybody knows Johnny. Everybody knows Johnny. If you do the Everybody Hates Chris thing. I'll do it if I feel <laughs> like it. I never realized Terry Crews was in Everybody Hates Chris until yeah. like way after the point that I should have realized it. <laughs> <laughs> he was like well, always one of my favorite characters. Terry Crews is my favorite character like no matter who he's playing. Because no matter who he's playing, he's always pretty much just playing Terry Crews. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Calm down, Walter. Oh boy, that was almost bad. But it wasn't, so we're fine. Mm. Everything's just fine. Just delightful. Boop. Oh god. Almost died. This area has a lot of uh, 
precursor orbs in it. Can't go back this way. Oh, okay, wait. I have story time. Okay. And it's a jerked face story time. Okay. Because as you guys know, Austin and I work in retail. This is true. And when you work in retail, man, you see the worst of people. It makes me even, like... Lose even more hope in humanity. Oh, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> I don't take it that deeply. I just like people are stupid. <laughs> you know, I hold a grudge. <laughs> um, you're going to, like, see one of the people you mean retail, like, later in life. And then, like, you're a boss or something. Like, they're the perfect applicant for the job. You're like, no. did you used to shop at Target and Edmund? And then they're like, yeah? Get out. <laughs> this interview's over. <laughs> he, he made the choice back then. It's not my fault. <laughs> Sorry, go on with the, the um, jerk face. Okay, so it's late, and I'm just like walking back to the deli from right. uh, taking out the trash. Right. And if you guys, how to describe it? The trash, when we take our trash out, it's like on the other side of the store. So right. we have quite a ways you to walk. You have to go all the way to the back. Yeah. Um, and then all of a sudden... Really? <laughs> Sorry. <Go> vertical <laughs> levels. Um, uh, and then I'm walking back, and this guy just walks up to me. And he, like, he just randomly just says, chocolate syrup. And I'm just what? like... Yeah, no, that's what I was. I was like, uh, is, is he looking for chocolate syrup? I'm that, yeah, now? yeah. They, like he said, chocolate syrup. I was like, what? And he said, chocolate syrup. And I was like, and he says, and then he finally started talking like a somewhat normal human being, and <laughs> he finally started using his verbs and whatnot. Right. And he was like, where's the chocolate syrup? And I was like, um, that's because you know I don't really know. I don't. Right. Like I mean, stuff. you just kind of get stuff over time, like right. where stuff is. I wasn't it. Plus, like. You know, I'm I work on the completely other side of the store, so I don't really know where certain things are. Right. Um, it's like I know he's like you shop there, but I don't shop for chocolate syrup because <laughs> I don't like chocolate syrup. syrup. Um, <laughs> this is the rest of the episode, everybody. And I just say I'm like um, I'm not too sure, but I think it's over in the last lane with the ice cream because yeah, I thought like that's well, where it is. that would that would make sense. That would be with the ice cream, right? And then he just starts walking off, and he's like, he's like, all right, I'll check, all right, I'll check, but I think you're wrong. Thanks, man. <laughs> and then I just, like, I'm just, I'm just, mm. <laughs> Well, if you knew where it is, man, why didn't you just go get it? <laughs> well, no, like, he said apparently it wasn't there. Like, he had, like, he was doing one of those things where it's like, I checked back there, and it wasn't there, so you're... It is back there. Yeah, that, the that, that is where they are. I went and checked after I got off. I was like, yeah, they're here. <laughs> um, and, uh, then I, like, look over, and there's this lady in this lane, and she apparently, like, heard everything, and she just, like, we both had this little moment. We didn't have to say anything. We just looked <laughs> at just each other, like, and it's like, oh, my, what just happened? <laughs> the skill? Uh, yeah, it was definitely on purpose. We just looked at each other, and it was just, like, we knew, we both knew, like, what a jerk face. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice whenever other guests just, like, realize that people are being stupid because mm -hmm. usually like the only people you can turn to whenever there's like someone's being stupid is like another target person you know mm -hmm. but every once in a while there's a guest like probably also works in retail or at least did at one point and then there's like I'm sorry like they're sorry for you on there mm -hmm. like on the other person's F they're like I'm sorry I just didn't know like what was like that was completely unnecessary <laughs> And I was already having a bad day, and the guy just made it worse. Strong syrup. <laughs> I was like, I did. I was like, can you like be a normal? Can you be somewhat normal? Can you like? S it, it just always amazes me, like how like once people are in like a grocery store for some reason, they're just like they expect to be treated like royalty or something. Yeah, it's just like <laughs> you're in a Target. Calm down, <laughs> jeez. It's like go to Whole Foods, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's just... I don't know. I don't get it why people are just like... Well, obviously the people that work at this Target are subhuman. <laughs> I hope he chokes on his milk. He was carrying two gallons of milk. Like, one gallon in each hand. In his hands, by right. the way. So that's that's why. I, I hope he chokes on it. Hope he chokes on it. 
Another thing that happened, Mm -hmm. (laughs) um, there's this, it was a while back, but there's this other jerk that, like, uh, I have this really big rule that, like, you shouldn't go into a place when it's, like, 15 minutes away from closing. Right. Because it's just rude, because, like, people that are closing have to do stuff. Right. After they close. Um, So, like, you know, don't, like, you wouldn't go into a restaurant 15 minutes before it closed. I mean, I think there's exceptions in the case of, like, if you need medicine or something, and it's like you need it tonight. Well, yeah, but I'm talking about, like, fast food. I'm talking about... Oh, yeah, I'm yeah. talking about, yeah, I'm talking about restaurants. Right. Don't go to a restaurant or, like, something like that, because 15 minutes before it closes, because that's really rude. Right. Um, at least, in my opinion, I find that to be insanely rude and just inconsiderate. Right. Uh... If you're squeaking in the background of Walter playing, it's not just like... <laughs> My voice is squeaky. <laughs> um, like uh, that penguin from Toy Story. <laughs> My squeaker. <laughs> um, Wheezy? That's yeah, Wheezy. Um, so, like, this guy comes up, and it's literally like five minutes before the deli closes. Right. So, I'm like, the lights are off and everything, and I'm like cleaning my last slicer. Right. And then he comes up, and he's like, are you guys open? First of all, if the lights are off, what do you think, genius? (laughs) Um, And I say, oh, no, we're, no, we're, we're, we're pretty much closing up right now. Right. And he's like, oh, when do you guys close? And... I said, like, we close early on Sundays. And he's just like, when do you close? And I was like, we close at 8. And then he just looked at his watch. And he's like, it's not 8 yet. (laughs) And... (laughs) Dude, go away. (laughs) Luckily, his... uh, I'm I'm assuming it was his wife. She came by and she was like, um, she was like, drop it. And she, like, basically, like, pulled him away and told him, like, yeah, yeah, leave, leave him alone. And I was like, thank you. Like, I didn't <laughs> thank say you that. for not being horrible. Yeah, I was like, thank <laughs> you. I'm sorry you have to be with this man. But uh, <laughs> it must be a pity. Something pity or something. Um, uh, and then, uh, it was a couple days ago, they came back and right. uh, another one of my coworkers was helping them. Uh-huh. Uh, but uh, he told me that they were talking about something and... Uh, your coworker told you this, or the, the dude that came back? The my coworker was talking. Okay. Me. He told me that he overheard them talking about something. Right. And uh, he said that the guy said that, like, um, I come here all the time to get my meat, and and then his wife said, Oh, you mean like that one time you were rude to that guy? And then <laughs> he was like, I wasn't rude. I was like, uh, Yes, you were. <laughs> yes, you were. <laughs> I'm not even sure if you're talking about my specific situation, but I know you were just based on what you acted like then. Eh. Yeah, just... We have people in produce where it's just like... Whenever one of us sees them, it's like, back to the back. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> At least you could do that in produce, because it's like... Can't do that in deli. Right. Because we have to take orders from people. Right. Which sometimes I really hate, because some people are just... I don't don't even want to call them people. Because no human being would actually act like this. Well, no. Yeah, Caleb, human beings are stupid. Yeah, no, we are. (laughs) That's why whenever I play, like, fantasy games and, like, take the elves, elves tend to hate humans. I'm like, I don't blame you. (laughs) (laughs) Humans are horrible. I do wish there was, like, more variety in, like, the relationships between, like, the different, uh races in fantasy series because it's always like humans elf human elf dwarf and they're always the same it's yeah like, <laughs> it's just like that's the, all you need there's elves they don't like the humans because the humans are mean to them and then there's dwarves and they also the, don't like the humans but they're like more funny about it or something. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's there's humans and they're there <laughs> okay that's fine yeah, I just wish there was, like, some... Like, I wish one of them was, like, the dwarves are the bad ones or something, mm-hmm. you know? Or the elves are the bad ones. It's always... Which, I mean, I guess it's... It makes sense, because, like, they're supposed to say that, like, the elves or humans don't like the dwarves or the elves because they're, like... Isn't it usually, like, elves are always the more, like, magically gifted ones? Mm-hmm. 
and then and because of that, sometimes it can be like more haughty and just right p- pompous, snooty. And then you have like the dwarves who are usually like the craftsmen and whatnot. Mm-hmm. How do I get up there? That is a good question that I don't know the answer to. You know what? We'll come back next time. I'm gonna figure out how to get up there. Like, am I missing something? It'd be nice if I could just like look around, but I can't. We'll figure it out next time. Bye, everybody. See ya.